Welcome to This Day and Everything Cool for January 29th. On this day in 1996, Duke Nukem 3D was unleashed on the world and we've never been the same since. After a couple of successful side-scrolling action games, Duke made the jump to a 3D first-person shooter along the lines of what had been accomplished by Wolfenstein 3D and Doom. Duke was a wise-cracking, misogynistic action hero designed to lampoon the movie heroes of the 80s and stir up sales-generating controversy. Unlike the fantasy worlds of other titles, the environments of Duke Nukem 3D were meant to reflect places we'd visit in reality, albeit with mutant pig cops. The game was a smash hit with tons of ports, lots of add-on content, and years of cool mods. Since the days of Duke Nukem 3D, however, the brand of Duke Nukem has struggled with mediocre or downright awful follow-ups. Things may be changing, though. A Duke Nukem movie starring John Cena was just announced, so maybe that old video game superstar can still come get some. Sega's insanely ambitious and beautiful massively multiplayer game Fantasy Star Online became a sensation around the game industry when it was released on this day in 2001 in North America. Players could choose from three different classes, hunters, rangers, or force, the magic users. There were three separate races, humans, the elf-like Newmans, and the robotic casts, and players went on quests fought bosses and collected loot, but they did it together, online, on Sega's Dreamcast servers, and it was incredibly elegant and very addictive. There were ports of this great game, and it had follow-up projects and some add-on content, but it's well past time for Sega to announce a true, brand new Fantasy Star Online game for modern systems. Two very successful celebrities shared January 29th as their birthday. In 1945, Magnum P.I. himself, Tom Selleck, was born, but we were pretty sure without a kick-ass mustache. Apart from his superb work as Magnum, Selleck has had a long career in TV and film and can currently be watched every week on CBS's Blue Bloods. In 1954, the one and only Oprah Winfrey was born in rural Mississippi, a far cry away from becoming the international media mogul that she is today. Oprah began her career as a news anchor in Nashville in the 70s and worked her way up to her own smash syndicated talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, which ran from January 2nd, 1984 to May 25th, 2011. Along the way, acting roles, books, magazines, and making some of her guests very, very successful through what's called the Oprah Effect. Now, Oprah runs a media network, OWN, is a special contributor on 60 Minutes, and deflects questions about when she'll run for president.